So, I was trying not to record. Uh, you know, I left from Pam's house, it's pretty late. I was playing uh, some games with the kids. And they were, uh, you know, the fireworks. <laughs> and I said I was leaving. All of a sudden, they started with the fireworks. It is uh, minutes to two in the morning. I just got off the bus. You hear the sirens in the background. And they started, as soon as I got off the bus, I started with the fireworks. And I took up my phone, hit the video record button, and they stopped. All right? <laughs> oh, I guess I spoke too soon. Because there you go. I guess they trying to show me now right <laughs> so yeah oh, look here listen to all the sirens I just got off the bus all right so yeah so you hear that loud bang you hear it again okay they do it every and that was by Pam they did it every uh, few minutes, okay, and uh, particularly when I'm having a conversation with the kids, you know, it started with the M80s, all right, and this was happening over by Pam, and uh, along the way over here before I got off the bus so again the active monitor and surveilling okay so yeah and I'm sure as soon as I, when I get in the house they're gonna start on my block what you're hearing is coming from the direction where I got off the bus at okay so there you go and it's funny <laughs> I get by I get by Pam and I went to take Ethan for a haircut I told Alyssa to go and brush her teeth so we can go. She just ignored me, didn't listen. So I said, okay. I was just getting ready to go. See why the light just turned off. As soon as I got on this block, we approaching this house, why the light just turned off? <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, so we were getting ready to walk out the door. She still didn't brush her teeth. So I said to her, hey, guess what? Well, now you're going to stay. Okay, because since you didn't want to listen to me, now you're going to stay. And Pam got upset. She's like, why are you just don't let her go? I said, because I'm tired of talking to her. Okay? And I said, why are you acting all like this now? All right? And so I had to tell her, I said, listen, the way how you raise your, these kids, and when they're with me, how I raise them is too different. When they're with me, they're more disciplined. Okay, but since they... I haven't been spending as much time as I can with them. Not as much time as I can, but, you know, she got the babysitter and everything. So, my daughter, so like I said, well, you don't want to listen to me? Okay. This is what's going to happen. You're not going to go anywhere if you don't listen. And the thing is, what a lot of black people don't understand is that our... We are being conditioned to just let our children do whatever they want to do to disrespect us. And a lot of it comes from the religious community because they know that people are waking up to their, their bullshit. All right, their religious bullshit. And so they're allowing these kids to just disrespect anybody, their children to just disrespect anybody. Okay, in the hopes that uh, they'll remain a Christian which to me is kind of ridiculous and stupid because if you're training your children in that manner when they go out there and interact with people they're going to be very disrespectful 
We didn't go out there and have to uh, partner up with anybody. They're going to be very disrespectful. But it's because the mindset that's being created is by those who, again, who are manipulating the population, manipulating certain communities. And uh, you see what happened? Oh, so now, now you're hearing it from this direction now. Okay? The one that just went off, now it's in this direction, which is close to my block. Right? So like I said, it doesn't stop. But uh, yeah, that's all I got to say right now. And I'll uh, talk to you guys in the next video.